to avoid from the side that was all ragging make sure to hit that like button that subscribe button follow me on twitter tan tiger two one and hit that bell notification button in case you're wondering the reason for the difference of the sound I'm back to using the microphone right um back using the the, the handheld handheld mic right today i'm going to talk about um x-men yeah Unfortunately, we're starting off with perhaps one of the worst movies in the f franchise, X-Men Origins w The Wolverine. Well, like I said, I, I, I'm going through one by one as they show up on my DVR. I believe the next is, un uh, ironically enough, is X2 and then X-Men. There was another X-Men movie, but it did not get recorded completely in my DVR, so that's not going to happen. So I, I, I'll have to, you know get it either to, through Amazon or through uh, Disney Plus if it's, if it's available. But yes, um, I get it. I get it why uh, Ryan Reynolds went back and killed Deadpool. I get it. And rightfully so. This movie was, it was so all over the place. And it was so not Wolverine. It is because you put a name like Wolverine on the on the label, and then you draw in fans of Wolverine, a person who does not know the meaning of the word subtle, a person who does not know the meaning of the word dilute or slow and then you give him this story where this girl of of with the powers of persuasion is her mutant ability okay the powers of persu easy persuasion okay yeah she's you know yeah she ought to yeah she ought to be like a un representative or something okay Spo she, she she ought to be a negotiator bomb squad negotiator or something okay she tells about the Howling Moon and uh, uh, Kakuchapu, uh, the the Wolverine looking up at the Howling Moon and never get get it. Are you kidding me? Th that's a Wolverine movie. Listen, even with Hugh Jackman, and by the way, uh, maybe it's just me, but for some reason, when you look at Wolverine from the animated series, he looks short and stocky. He looks very muscular. He has a power lifters, a bit of a power lifters build. When you look at Hugh Jackman, nothing about him says power lifter. But almost everything about him says martial artist. Everything about him says Olympic swimmer. He has much more uh, of a lean build. Maybe it's just this, in this movie, but like. And here's another problem. Like, let's say uh, with, with Thor. You have to have the physical build of Thor. Just like, you know, you get another skinny guy. You get someone like Will Smith to play Thor. It's not going to work out because Will Smith does not have the build to make Thor believable. Yes, and no, I I am not counting the Heihachi Mishima hairstyle of Wolverine. No, that's not important. But yeah, you get that name. You get, you get a very intense actor. Hugh Jackman is very intense. Okay, he, he can act, but you get him to play an emotional story where you have 10 seconds of action followed by 20 minutes of, of emotional exposition. Even at the end scene, like, okay, it's, uh, it's all building up to this. It's all building up to Wolverine versus Sabretooth. And then what happens? Wolverine does not kill Sabretooth. Because she, she he was convinced by the power of persuasion not to kill Sabretooth. And how is Wolverine supposed to not kill Sabretooth if, if both of them have the healing factor? So sorry, how is Wolverine supposed to kill Sabretooth when both of them have the healing factor? And this got shown again and again. And even in the end, even in the end, one like, you know, when uh, the the scientist was 
operating Deadpool with a keyboard and a mouse. Wait, no, wait, no. I don't think even a mouse, just a keyboard. I think it's, it's like a Mac, um, uh, a Mac keyboard. And then Sabretooth comes and says, like, if anyone kills you, it's going to be me. Okay, they, you know, they throw Deadpool off the building. I'm like, okay, there he is. Kill him, kill him. There he is. No, we look out for each other. I'm like, what are you doing? Granted, yes, this made Deadpool, no, this made Sabretooth one of the more interesting characters I want to look more into. And no, I am, I, I am not a fan of the classic 1980s Sabretooth. That is like listen to someone like, you know, banging the drums for five minutes. It gets very boring without a song in the context. It gets very boring just because banging the drums is fun. Sorry, people have, a, here's one, like, yes, a lot of people have regressed into having a very short attention span. But those who have not regressed to having a very short attention span, they have Va they have learned to value their time more. Yes, you are telling a, a story, you know, with the slow burn and everything. Here's the thing. Slow burn stories have been told before. There's only so many ways you can go with a slow burn story. So if it, if a slow burn story is not unpredictable, if it is perceived as predictable, then people of this generation is going to, is going to determine it as boring if come to a very early evaluation as okay this is wasting my time okay because they would have perceived that okay you're telling the same story again you're telling the same story that we've seen we've heard from from people saying the 70s 80s and 90s and early early like you know 2000s why am i why am i seeing the same story again So, like I said, this, this movie was all over the place. I was not a fan of the acting either. Cyclops is blind? When is Cyclops blind? In this movie, he had a small cameo of Cyclops and he's blind? And that's even said by the girl who can turn into, you know, the... I call, I call her the jewelry, uh, the jewelry store girl. Yeah. Jewelry store, uh, store girl, because she, because she can... Uh, Jewelry store mascot. She can turn her skin into diamond. She she thinks that Cyclops is blind. And so Cyclops can't say, you know, what direction to go left or right. And Cyclops like, respect my authority. No, no, no. Cyclops is like, okay, okay, just trust me. So that sort of made no sense either. Even Hugh Jackson, Jackman's intense acting could not save this movie. And also... Hugh Jackman could not like properly kill Sabretooth without the adamant, even with the adamantium. That all, that all, it made it made him look like a bit of a weakling, but maybe he's just honing honing in his skills. But yeah, uh, I I get it why people hate hated this movie so much. This movie. Despite Hugh Jackman, despite Sabretooth, uh, you know, acting, or or no, his uh, you could say his screen presence. That's a better way to, word to use. Nothing could save this movie. I, I sorry, I have to give it like maybe a two out of ten. So guys, yeah, th th this is a series like you know, I'm, I'm uh, like like you've noticed with this channel, I'm starting to go over more and more movies because now that I shifted away from the from the whole pro wrestling thing, and yes, I. I tried to tune back in on Tuesday. I could not. It was into impact. It was the moment I saw. I saw. Uh, I heard mention of Joey Ryan. I'm like, okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I just remembered why. Why I stepped away. I forgot that. I forgot that that dummy was still in there. Okay, guys. So let me know what you thought about the X Men Origins Wolverine movie in the comment section below. And as always, please hit that like. And subscribe at bell, bell notification button. It's your boy Tanvir Sai, the Bengal Dragon, signing out.